Okay, today's training video is gonna be all about how to create an embeddable button within your ClickFunnels funnel. Okay, this way you don't have to worry about you know getting their name in their email and this should help improve your conversions rates, especially from Facebook. Because if they're naturally seeing your ad on Facebook, then they have their Facebook open, which will make it very easy for them just to click through and get subscribed to your many chat sequence so that you could follow up with them, deliver the value, and then end up closing them into your business. First thing that we wanna do, of course, is make sure you have your ClickFunnels lead page and sales page set up. Then you wanna make sure that you have your sequence already created inside of ManyChat, okay? Because this is gonna be what you're going to attach each subscriber to. There's gonna be a couple of steps we're gonna walk you through right now. So first, make sure that you have your lead page set up, your thank you page set up, the sequence that you wanna add them to inside of ManyChat all set up prior to. This way, when you get to this option, which is gonna be the growth tools option, it'll be very easy and seamless for you to get this done fast. So the first thing that we wanna do is obviously head to the growth tools option, create new growth tool. We've done a little bit of a test right here, and so we're gonna click on this, and this is gonna be the page that you get sent to when you create that new growth tool. First thing is, is checking out what options do we have available. There's not really much options here, it's pretty much default. The thing that I would recommend is that if you have a background that is blue on your landing page inside ClickFunnels, that you would then just change the button from blue to white. That's it, there's not really too many colors as you could see to choose from, it's either blue or white. It's okay, it's not really that big of a deal, so for this instance, we're gonna just keep it blue, and then that's pretty much done for step one. Step two is gonna be on the submitted state. So this is gonna be what happens after they click the button on your landing page. What's gonna happen next? Well, naturally, we wanna take them to a thank you page or a sales page that's going to then give them a little bit more value and then maybe a call to action to either buy or become a client or make a call or whatever it is that you're selling or doing. So we wanna make sure that we turn the redirect to URL on and then we wanna take the thank you page, right, the sales page within your ClickFunnels funnel that we can then send them to. In this instance, this is gonna be the page that we send them to and we wanna then copy that URL and then paste it right here where it says after submission. Now, remember that you're gonna to wanna to give them access to what they are opting in for in their first message, which I'll get to in a second, which is gonna be in the opt-in actions. But for right now, we wanna make sure that they're getting taken to the thank you page or the sales letter that's gonna really be seen naturally after they were to opt in from your ClickFunnels account if they were giving you your name and their email. Okay, we wanna make it the same exact thing, which is why we wanna make sure that we're gonna open the URL in the current tab. We don't wanna open up a new tab because that wouldn't be the same kind of experience that they would get if they were just going through your ClickFunnels account with their name and email, right? Because naturally it's just gonna take them right to that next page. And we wanna give them that same experience. So the next thing that we wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have your opt-in actions. The opt-in message is gonna be where we're going to send the giveaway, the cool thing that they're actually opting in for. And then you wanna make sure that you're subscribing them to a sequence. And that's why you wanna make sure as the beginning uh, of, the, of the video I stated that you have to have a couple things already in place. Number one being the lead page, number two being the sales page, number three being the sequence that you're gonna to wanna to add them to within your ManyChat account. From here, we're gonna to wanna to save this and then we're gonna to wanna to edit this opt-in message, okay? Now, this opt-in message, this is gonna be where they get that first cool thing that they're opting in for. So in this case, it's a three-part case study. So what I would do is I would do something simple and I would say, give them first name. Here's your three-part case study. Uh, you know, I know you'll enjoy it. Let me know what you think. We don't pitch here, we're just giving them cool thing. And then the button here would be access three part case, I don't think it'll work. Three part access, let's just call it case study because you only have a certain number of characters. So access case study, and then this would be open in the website, and then this would possibly lead them to the number one. So we would then take our URL that is going to be the first part of the case study, and then we would just enter the URL here. And then what we like to do is we like to tag them as, let's say, uh, uh, accessed, oh, accessed case study. Click on that, and you wanna make sure you save it. Now we know that anybody who clicks on this actually accessed the case study, okay? So boom, we're ready to go. Now we can go ahead and we can publish this bad boy. Now what we wanna do is make sure that when we come to our button test that we can go to next, we wanna go to next, we wanna go to now next, and now we have our snippet. So this is where it gets to be uh, a little confusing for some people, but what we wanna do is just do two steps. It's just copy and paste. It's just a real easy copy and paste. The first thing that we wanna do is install JavaScript snippet. Now, in order to do that, you have to authorize a website. So from here, let's go ahead and take 
the URL that we are looking to authorize. Okay, so from here, it's going to be on the landing page. You wanna get the landing page URL within ClickFunnels, and then you're going to want to, when you click that, copy that, and then add that as, an author, as, an, as a website, okay? So now it's gonna say, perfect, we have this right here. It's already good to go. And next, now it's install the ManyChat snippet. Now this snippet is going to go in the head of every page on your website. So we're gonna copy this, and there's an easy way to do this within ClickFunnels. From here, we're gonna to go to settings, and then inside settings, you're gonna see head tracking code. We're going to paste, and sometimes it doesn't copy and paste, but I found a little trick. When you go here, and you start a new conversation for some reason, and you paste it here, and then you come back here, you copy it for some reason, now watch. It pastes, whatever that is. I don't know why ClickFunnels does that, but if it's not copy and pasting for you, which sometimes happens because it glitches or bugs or whatever they have, then just open up the chat window, paste whatever it is that you're looking to paste in your ClickFunnels account into the chat window, don't send it to them, and then just copy and paste it from the chat window back to your head tracking code, and you're gonna see it work. So now that we have that done, you wanna come down to the very bottom of the page, save and update settings. Once you have your website verified, and then you have your little snippet of code installed in every header page of your website, then you just wanna to go to finish. So the next step now is to take this little piece right here of code, and this is gonna be where you actually install the button. So we're gonna copy this, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to our landing page. Okay, so let's edit this bad boy real quick. And now you're gonna see that right here, instead of having a button, I'm gonna add a new element. I'm gonna go down to the custom js slash html so custom javascript slash html and i'm going to click on that i'm going to open my code editor i'm going to paste my little bitty code right here and now from here we want to make sure that it has third-party embed codes okay and then we're going to want to save this now look what happens when we preview okay and then when we go ahead and we hit preview we should be all ready to go now the one thing that you want to make sure that you do is inside your widget you want to turn it from draft to active before you can ever see the actual button show up so once it's active and you have the javascript snippet installed into the website that you verified right into the header of each of the sites by going to settings and then you want to and you have this little piece of snippet inside of your ClickFunnels account now you can see that when you come to the preview boom here it is and now if i were to click on that it should now send a messenger, and now look what happens. I got taken to my page, right. and if we come to my Facebook, now we're gonna see that it says here. Boom, Brandon, here's your three-part case study. There it is, and then if I click that, it's gonna take me to my first video, and then we have everything that we're looking right. to get. Wait a couple minutes. So as you can see, very simple to do, and it's gonna take you no time at all to get this thing done now. So again, as a recap, make sure that you got your lead page, your sales page, inside of ClickFunnels created, Make sure you have your sequence that you're gonna attach that subscriber to already created inside your ManyChat account. And then just follow the steps that I just laid out for you to install the JavaScript, verify your website, and then create that embeddable button onto your landing page. When you do this, it'll be very easy for you to do this on any website from now on, whether it's you know WordPress or wherever. But ClickFunnels obviously is a great tool to use so that you don't have to worry about building out whole websites by yourself or hiring a bunch of designers. So now that you have all this access, go out there, start creating your advertising, and make sure that you are coming back and watching the next training video. I'll see you on the next one.